In the previous episode, me and Piero, we prepare and we adapt the new furniture that will contain all the electric parts that control the light inside Ellos. In addition, there was work that needed to be done to optimize the space just under the chair table. But above all, at the end, I won't change this horrible fake tick that Alberassi installed 30 years ago. guys welcome back to power plant today another episode of the series restore a fantastic alberassi 3 work 2 in the last episode you see how to make your own cabin sole of course it's not a real do-it-yourself work because you need a lot of knowledge a lot of material a lot of tools to make a very good job sometimes it's better and easy to buy the ready-to-go panel gluing in the plywood prepare your template and make it. But in this case, I tried this uh, way to do and the result was astonished. Of course, I don't do it again, but this is another story. Today you will see in this video how to make your own chart table. I completely changed my chart table because I hate the fake tick that Alberas used 30 years ago. So I throw away all the fake tick. So now my chart table will be made by Mahogany. In this episode, you will see all the process to produce your own chart table. When I take out the chart table, I also found a way to make another locker just under the chart table because there are some space that was not used. So in this episode, you will see also how to make your own new space behind or below the chart table. So guys, the time is run, we start just now. Warnish all my pieces of the new galley, but now I need to move here. So this is the original, the original piece of uh, fake uh, tick that was installed. Now I need to cut this because I will do the new charting table made with the same type of wood, mahogany. So I need to cut because it's impossible to disassemble. So piece after piece, I will cut. Coming back at the top tech, me and Franco, we cut the plywood, but we didn't have the correct size of the plywood, so we use a thin plywood and after that we put in the press all together to get the correct size and thick of the plywood to make the new chair table. You can see Franco in this moment is gluing and after that we will put all the stuff under the press. Here we go, we give a ton of pressure and in a couple of hours my new plywood will be ready. When you didn't get the correct uh, stuff, you made it. Some month ago I did the template of the chart table and now Franco following the template is cutting the new chart table.
Franco glues this piece of mahogany into the plywood to prevent the plywood from being seen. Uh, Franco is correct an error, we cut too small the piece of plywood so now with this machine insert two pieces of wood and we glue all together. For glue the piece we need to make the frame all around. And here we are, we start to glue the missing piece of plywood. And now we will glue the piece of mahogany all around the chart table. We spent half an hour, me and Franco, choosing the mahogany sheets to join together and then glued this on the plywood because we want to have a beautiful wooden texture. And the frame now are perfectly glued and now we need to calibrate to 12 mm exactly so we can after that uh, veneer all these pieces together and get a very nice result you will see Check in the template, check in the original chart table and have a look all the piece together. We have to cut the mahogany sheets in such a way that the line of the plywood maintain the same alignment in the two pieces of plywood, so we need to pay a lot of attention before cutting. And this is the mahogany that will be glued in the chart table. You can see here the raw result, but we give you an idea of what it will be. And of course we need also to glue in the sheet of mahogany on the side, the chart table, so we need to prepare also these parts. I will choose the always high quality mahogany, but not as beautiful as on the top, so now I'm looking 
to get the correct uh, wood grain of all uh, mahogany sheets. Okay, it's time to glue and prepare everything to be put under the press. You can see how Franco spread in the glue, we put the sheet of mahogany back in the top and after that we put all in the press, about two tons per centimeter square. Okay, now it's under pressure all the new chart table, you can see there. And we wait in one hour and after that we'll be ready because we use uh, 25, 26 degree on the press. So the glue work very fast. We will see in an hour. And here we are. Oh my God, the exorcist. <laughs> the piece is glued in the top of the press. But don't worry, it can down very easily. Hey, okay, I have in here also this piece of chart table. I hope to finish with veneer because it's quite boring to do. I need to take out the tape. Now using the router machine I remove the sacks of glue mahogany in order to have the original piece perfectly clean. You can see the wood grain. Now I need to sand the border of all these pieces. Taking out the tape, I ruin a little the mahogany sheet, so I need to glue this small piece of uh, sheet of mahogany with uh, the glue, some tapes and chop down. This is my raw chart table. I need to fix some things around here. I need to cut this excess of uh, the chart table, but it will be my new one. You can see the mahogany uh, veneering and the head of mahogany. So it's better than what original. Okay, it's time that Franco cut the excess of uh, chart table. He used this blade because I'm very scared to use this type of tools, but he's a master to use it. He can make a house only using these tools. Based on the template I made, now it's time to report the exact measurement because then I will to try. Franco cut the alarm piece of uh, chart table to give the correct length and wide. Using the two millimeter space between the table and the other piece, we check if all is perfect. The time has come to try the chart table, but first I need to screw the old support on the bulkhead and after that I will try. It's quite tight the space, but I need to make some force to put the piece in position. So I make this small I follow the control of the border over there and we try to see if it fits well. And this is the other piece. Ok, 
okay I need to trim just below here uh, 90% on my new mahogany charting table no more shit thick tick but only pure mahogany is it's great I need to paint varnish there is a box here with all the electronics and yes great Coming back at the top deck, I need to trim a little and Franco do for me this one because he knows how to use the saw. Andrea, a friend that worked at top deck, prepared the template to make the hole for the hinge of the chart table. We need to be very precise because I don't use the original one, a long, huge hinge, but a very small one and very, very elegant one. You will see. We can't make any mistake. If you make mistake, we throw away all the work we did. And also we need to pay attention of the correct uh, dip that we make this, this hole. You will see the small piece of mahogany that I glued there. They are the reinforce for the hinges. We use the caliper to check if the dip that we drill is uh, correct. We need to pay attention. You can see the hinge and I have in hand. This is what we will use. Andrea put some tape, yellow tape on the drill so he know exactly how deep must to go. It's time to drill the second part of the chart table, the fixed one, and also here a lot of attention. Now is the time to prepare the hole of the new table support. I have not removed the old screw because otherwise I had to redo the opposite wall, painting and varnish, because the old screw were hidden by mahogany caps. So I cut them and now I installed a new support bar for all my chart table. I use also some hot glue to fix the new bar that support the chart table and after that I will make the perfect hole and send all the stuff to varnish. I will assemble all the chart table when all the varnish job will be done. You can see now the small hinge we use it. Hi guys, just under the chart table I discovered this space. Now I want to make a locker just there to get more space to store some stuff. As you can see from the video, behind the drawers there was nothing. It was a used space. Uh, with a little genius I managed to get a shelf in a high place. So I can smuggler, alcohol, cigarette, money and gold. <laughs> This is the locker base. Now I have to put some support to keep it steady in. The job is done, need only to varnish, but this is my space just under the chart table. If you do this, you need to disassemble all the chart table. I have the lucky to have this uh, situation, so why not make another shelf? There is this one. I have just inside the chart table. I go with the hand like this and I can open. I will put another lid here. So this is a good shelf to put some stuff. You can open, you can put uh, mechanical part of the engine. 
Okay, okay guys, all the pieces of the new locker that I will install there is ready. So it's already varnished, so I need only to install it and finish the work. Uh, if you want to do this type of job, you need for sure to take out all the chart table. The chart table are screwed there. There are some holes here that are masked with the wood plug. So if you take out this wood plug, you need to varnish all this uh, wall. I only cut the, um, the screw there because I installed a new one, but with a big access, like in this moment, I can work there. We will install the panel just in the locker to make the new locker. I already drilled all the holes. It's quite awkward to work there. This one, yes. So you can see what I did. I like very well because I get more space to use on the board and this is the result. I close all the stuff. I have... The other problem was this uh, support. I had to cut it because it was too long. The stop is here, this part of uh, the support is not useful. So I cut one centimeter and fit well. So, when I open the chart table, when I will open the chart table, I can put my hand here, take out the lid and put my stuff here. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it and I wait your comment. So write your comment. I would like personally reply to you. And if you like my video, remember always to leave thumb up. We will see in the next episode. For the moment is all. E Gabriele say hi.